Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we got Kill Switch with 679 rating versus Strike S with 556 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video, and let's hop right in. We're going to have Strike S when the rock, paper, scissors shoot, so they're going to get to decide if they want to go first or second, 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it, and they chose to go second. Uh, I'm gonna look at their hand first. The opening hand is Widow, Bell, Desires, Rota, Gamma. Alright, so Sky Striker going second, pretty common. Uh, two hand traps, one high impact. Uh, they have very good hand though, just very good. And then he has Nian, Itali, Drivers, City, Lulu. Also a pretty good hand. It's gonna be an interesting game one. City, bring out Chuchi, and then activate Lulu effect. It's going to chain Gamma on that. It's pretty good. Also, for those of you that don't know, uh, you can Bell Gamma effect if you want to. Because it can summon from Grave, even if there isn't a driver in Grave. e -Telly, bring out Lulu. And then Normal Summon Neon. It's going to go for Stardust Charge Warrior. He's going to get that to draw on the Nib which is not very good in this matchup. Pass turn, draw Widow. Yeah, this is going to be very hard for the Virtual World player to come back and win. Banish 10, draw Upstart, Eagle Booster. That's interesting. Haven't seen Eagle Booster in this deck in a while. See the Banishes. We see a Rose. Still plays Mystic Mind. Probably just the one of copy in the deck. Banishes two rows and ray. It's gonna upstart goblin, draw afterburners, and then Rota to add ray. And now you can just afterburners get rid of the board. And that's really good because that gets the virtual world card off board. Normal summon ray, battle phase, tag for 15. This is interesting. I wouldn't do that. I would have just tagged out into Hayate. Or not tag out, but just like link summon into it. No effect to help play around Gamma. Because right there, like, if he gets hit with Gamma, he's forced to bell it, or he just has no engine. Attack for 15, and then effect, it's going to send multi-roll. And then goes for Kagari, Kagari effect, add back multi-roll. Activate it, link in the shiz. Set two back rows, two widows, and then end phase shiz to add shark cannon, activate it, banish neon, and that's pretty much game. Set shark cannon off multi roll, draws desires. That's the perfect draw. Alright, let's see. Draws Kieran Ash. Ooh, not there. Uh so he is playing extravagance. Uh I actually do know this because uh, I talked to him. Uh, a while ago about this a little while ago now and uh he he really likes this card um it makes it like he, he just doesn't get punished really by it like he played three vfd in the extra deck um not gonna reveal too much more of it but i think this card's cool i don't know if it's like good or not in the deck because i've never personally tried it i still think just drytron's better so i'm just on drytron um, and then we see Nib, Gamma, Roshi, Ash. So multiple hand traps in the main deck. Sucks to draw so many versus a matchup like this. Draws area zero. Activate it. And then go for Hayate. So no reason to activate that first. And then attack for 15. Effect. It's going to dump area zero. Main phase two. Go for Kagari. Kagari effect. That's going to add back afterburners. And then go in the shiz. End phase, shiz effect, chain ash blossom. Then pass turn, draw Chinglong. Pass turn, draw desires. Like he's still not gonna lose for multiple more turns. Draws desires, activate it, banish ten. And then draws extravagance gamma, uh not good draws. So we can see like half of his deck list just by doing this. So extravagances were the only like really interesting thing. Activate Chinglong, then Kieran effect. See, this is why I can't play my Drytron deck on uh, 
my main account. Because, like, you guys would just be able to see my entire deck. Like, look, I only don't know five cards in this deck right now. He's going to admit defeat there. Nothing nothing much he could do. Obviously, Striker was very far ahead. Probably could have decked him out. Uh, game two opening hand is City, Evenly, Extravagance, Ash, Lulu. Chose to go second, so the Evenly is going to be nice. And the hand, this hand is just crazy. Very nice hand. Uh, the Evenly may not be so good if the opponent plays around it, though. And he has Summon Limit, Shark Cannon, Widow, Ash, Rota. He's probably not going to play around it. Activate Rota, add Ray. And then Summon Ray. Link off in the Shiz. Set three back row and phase Shiz effect. He's going to chain Ash to that. Uh, that probably would have just grabbed Horn of Drones. Draws Chinglong. And then activate Extravagance. Banish six. Alright, so chain Ash Blossom. Let's see what he banishes. Cloud Castle, VFD. Couple Cloud Castles. Seeing some of the extra deck. Hopefully he resolves like another one of these in this game. So that way uh, we can see even more of the extra deck. Uh, start a battle phase. Shark Cannon, Banish Ash. Widow on Shiz. It's crazy when people like do that. Because sometimes you could just be like, alright, alright. Now main phase two. And it's like I'm not even going to use my evenly. Because I just went through most of your interruptions anyways. He's going to activate evenly, banish the shiz, and then city go in the chuchi, activate lulu effect. Obviously, like he's going to activate evenly there because he's going to be putting cards on board that are going to stay. Send Qinglong at GG, and then GG effect on lulu, bring itself out by sending chuchi, activate summon limit, chuchi to up the level of lulu, activate Qinglong, Qinglong, Banished to negate something. Chu Chi to pop summon limit. And that's going to be game. He's on zero cards versus virtual world. And they're going to have like Lulu as a follow up. Make Shen Shen and phase add Lulu. Pass turn. Draws desires. Alright, that's a, that's a good step one. Draws D barrier and Ash. Yeah, I would say that's a. Uh, not his game. Yeah, it's banished because of Shen Shen. Draw Ash. Oh, draws Ash for turn two. Lulu effect, chain Ash. It's cool. It uh, doesn't even matter. Honestly, I'd be happy if that happened to me. Because that means that's not a, like a real card. Attack for 28. Effect. Yeah, get to put back Ash. Also got to remember that this can put back your opponent's stuff. Haven't had that come up yet, but if it ever does, I'll let you guys know. Like, could like attack, return Omega, imagine. Chinglong, add GG, and then discard Lulu, GG effect, special summon itself out by sending Chinglong. And then Chinglong effect, so that way you can have two banished. End phase, add back Lulu, pass turn. Draws Gamma. So wait, how was Lulu sent off board? Wouldn't it have just been banished? Honestly, I like lost track there. <laughs> um. Okay, discarded it. Okay, never mind. I, for some reason, I was like, gotta make sure that this shouldn't be banished. Draws Gamma. Does he have Driver banished? We should have looked at his banished too when he desires. Uh, nothing too cool, just like D Barrier that we already see set. So, Driver's still alive. Pass turn, draws Desires. Activate Lulu on Chinglong. He's going to chain Gamma to that. Does he chain Ash? Or, yeah, he chains Ash on that. And then get to add Roshi. Switch to attack. Poke for 28. Poke for 16. And then attack for game. Now, moving on to game 3. We are going to see Kill Switch go first, aka the Virtual World player on Extravagance. Opening hand is Chinglong, GG, Chuchi, Extravagance, Droll. Droll versus Striker is uh, not good. It used to be A1. It used to be perfect because it would just be like Engage, Droll, GG, OTK. 
And then he has Widow, Desires, Cosmic, Ash, Shark Cannon. So no starters. Needs a good Desires or a good draw for turn. Extravagance, Banish 6. He's going to chain Ash to that. So we see like a Juju, Stardust Charge, Trish. This card's really good versus Eldritch. Like game if you get to summon it. Activate Chinglong and then GG effect. It's gonna summon itself by dumping Lulu. And then set Chuchi and phase add back Lulu. So uh, sometimes the GG struggle is real. Pass turn, draws Rose. Oh, it draws good for turn. Activate Desires, banish 10. Wow, this is looking really good for the Sky Striker player. Draw Sky. Oh, Skullmeister and Multi Roll. Insane. Banish is double or nothing. Playing double or nothing and keeping it in versus virtual world, this dude's crazy. It's just not good. Like, if they end with something in attack, it's probably Shen Shen. And you can't game over Shen Shen, anyways. Um, so that's interesting to keep in. See Rose and Array banished. Drop Droid said no Gamma, please. Did he banish Driver? Did not. And then Cosmic on the Chuchi. Normal Summon Rose. Go for Hayate. Battle Phase. Tack directly. And then Effect. It's going to dump Afterburners. And then Main Phase 2. Go for Kagari. Kagari Effect. Add back Afterburners. That play made Striker a deck. Like, when there was no Hayate in Sky Striker, Pure Striker was so bad compared to everything else. Even when this came out, the deck was still not, like, super crazy compared to Goki, but it was, like, good enough. Activate Shark Cannon, Banish Droll, and then activate Multi Roll. Should have just activated Multi Roll first. Then activate Afterburners, Pop Pop, Set Widow. And then multi roll is going to set afterburners. No point in going in the shiz because he's under draw. Pass turn, draw extravagance. Alright, this is what I wanted to see last game. So now we get to see more of the extra deck. Oh my, he draws City GG off of that extravagance. Wild. So this is a lot of the extra deck. So, there's only like three cards unknown. They might have even been shown last game, and I just don't remember them. So, if you guys are trying to copy his list, I mean, game one, there was only five cards left in the main deck that we didn't know about. And this game, there's only three in the extra deck. So, really, all you don't know now is the side. So, Extravagance in Virtual World sucks. It's not. Like, it's interesting, it's interesting. It might be good, it might not be good. I haven't played with it, so I don't know. Um, hasn't seemed to be, like, super good meta-breaking, but it hasn't been, like, hasn't seemed to be horrible either. City, bring out Chuchi. Then activate GG effect. Summon Neon, bring itself out. And then Lulu effect. Ooh, on res of GG, he's thinking... It's gonna let that go through. Send Chinglong, add Roshi, and then oh, not adding Roshi, adding Nian. Set so misclick, more of like a misplay than a misclick. Well, how long did it take to put it back? That's the question. Um. So he added a. Mm, not horrible. I mean, it doesn't seem like he's going to call him out on it, so, yeah, he's going to Shark Cannon on the Neon, and then Neon Effect, that gets banished because multi-roll, he's going to get the put back an extra card, didn't get to see what he was put back, oh, he put back Shen Shen, alright, so, if you put back Shen Shen, then it's pretty obvious he's only on one Shen Shen, or he just wouldn't put that back. Activate Chinglong, Chain Skullmeister. He's thinking here. He's going to normal summon out Nian. And then Synchro for a Vermillion. 
Activate Widow Anchor on Vermilion. Uh, gonna steal it. And then, is that just the end phase there? He does have a few virtual world cards banished. Does have three. So, like, the Chuchi is live. He's gonna Chuchi effect. Shuffling back two to target Kagari. Because there's Rose. And then end phase gets Vermilion back. Also, he should have summoned Vermilion in this zone. Where the Kagari pointed to to, pl to help play around Rose. Imagine if, like, on summon, he's just, like, bottomless trap hole. And then Rose effect. It's like, wow. Wild. End phase, GG, add back Lulu, multi roll effect that's gonna set afterburners, pass turn, draws jamming waves. It's gonna have afterburners, pop Vermilion and Chuchi. And then set. It was interesting that he kept jamming it too, like keeps jamming and double or nothing in versus this deck. Feel like that's just not too good. Um, multi rules gonna send jamming, and then end phase multi rules set widow has three spells engraved, so it has the take effect. Draw Kieran. This is pretty good. Yeah, this is this is just game. He wins. Chinglong Tad Nian, and then discard Kieran. Normal summon out Nian. He's gonna use Nian effect, and then chain widow to take. Oh, he said I won't do it. Never mind. I wonder if he just did that, like, instantly. Uh, yes, he did it instantly. Sorry, didn't ask for Pryo. Yeah, fair enough. Knee in effect, up the level by 3 on the tuner. Make Shen Shen, and then knee in effect. He's going to get the put back an extra deck monster. Let's see if we can see which one it was again. Cloud Castle. So he put a cloud castle back, it appears. And then attack for 28, effect, put back to grave. Easy put Nian back to grave. Card is a resource. And then main 2, Lulu effect, chain widow to take. And then end phase gets to take it back. Multi roll effect, it's going to set jamming. Pass turn, draw gamma. So it still has driver. So if he uses like the effect to put back again, he could get hit with gamma. Draw Roshi. Oh my gosh. Doesn't matter. Say like extravagance sucks in virtual world, huh? Oh, that's whack. He he's about to win. Yeah, uh I mean he, he deserves to say that. I would say something like that. I usually just hit him with a good old like copy paste. That way they see uh like strike S and then it says what they say. He's going to drop Gamma effect on the Lulu. And then drop Roshi. He said, yeah, it sucks. I just need a starter and I play plenty. His hand was nuts. Like, he opened Rose. That's a starter. Um, He just lost. I think, I think it's really just like as simple as that. Like, Virtual World is just clearly better than Sky Striker. I mean, we don't even have to have, like, a discussion about that. Drytron, best deck. Virtual World, second best deck. Sky Striker is just not the first or second best deck. Said, you lo you even lost a game against Striker when it's my worst matchup, so... His game one hand was very poor, though. He opened multiple hand traps versus Striker. Ha! <laughs> he said so. <laughs> just play. Wild. Um, get to bring out GG and then Neon effect. Go for Stardust Charge. Shuffle back, draw Ghost Bell. It's almost game. Because this can poke, poke. Um, there's, like, that. I guess this isn't really scary. Ching Long to add Kieran. Discard Ghost Bell. Kieran summoned itself out. Go for M7. Oh, did he? Oh, he probably put M7 back, not Cloud. 
M7, add back GG, and then summon GG by sending Qinglong. I think M7 is so good in this deck. I would never play this deck without M7. Like, it comes up pretty often for me when I play this deck. Especially, like, in weird scenarios where you, where you get to add back, like, a hand trap. It's going to start his charge, beat over both, M7 attack directly, Shen Shen attack directly. Um, so, he uses Shen Shen on Shen Shen's attack, so maybe he doesn't know that if he attacks with Stardust Charge, he can actually trigger the Shen Shen effect, the put back. But, tax for game. Ah, offers a rematch. I wonder if he accepted. Ah, I was going to say, maybe we'll just make this like a double replay video. Um, but... So that not happening. I mean, that's fair, though. Uh, if your opponent, like, talks trash and then, like, you win, you kind of you kinda deserve to be able to just, like, click the leave button and smile. But the match was 40 minutes exactly. That's perfect. Uh, in real life, Sky Striker is obviously very good in time because of kind of. Virtual World has some stuff to do good in time, too. A lot of people don't know about it. Uh, they can burn in time pretty easily. But that's going to be it for the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. The DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day.